Jan K. Akers, and here are your morning sports announcements for Thursday, September 26. We open up with the Blue Devils marching band as they are on quite a roll. This past weekend, the marching Blue Devils performed at two marching band competitions. At the Andrew in Invitational, the marching Blue Devils placed third in their class and won best color guard. The top three scores at that contest were all within the smallest of margins of each other. Great job, band! Then, later that day, the Marching Blue Devils performed at Romeoville High School Invitational and won Best Color Guard and placed first in their class and were selected Grand Champion. This is the second invite they have competed in this year and were awarded this prestigious accolade. Fantastic job to the band and the instructors and the best of luck later this month at the Providence Catholic Invitational. The varsity football team got back on the winning track as they defeated Waukegan last Friday night by the final score of 43-12. to Aaron Stewart rushed for 143 yards with three touchdowns on the day. Justice Humphreys had a terrific 16-yard touchdown run in the second quarter. Jack Wolf connected on two touchdown passes, one to Aiden Edwards for 35 yards and one to Evan Spillman for 20 yards, as the Blue Devils even their record to 2-2 two and two on the season. Next up are the ZBs from Zion Benton as they come in tomorrow night for our homecoming game. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and our theme is Once Upon a Homecoming. This is a friendly reminder to students looking to attend Friday's home football game against Zion. Please adhere to the following expectations. All Warren students should enter the stadium from the home side. Students are required to have their 2024 to 2025 picture ID to be admitted. No backpacks or bags allowed and students currently assigned social probation will be turned away. Now on to some cross-country news. Both the boys and girls cross-country teams competed in the Bill Dawson Invitational at Oak Plain this past Saturday, where there were 30 teams with over 600 participants running in this event that honor former WTHS math teacher and cross-country head coach, Mr. Bill Dawson. For the boys team, here are the results. The boys frost soft placed 11th, and the boys JV came in 4th, and boys varsity came in 8th. The girls cross country team ran very well, earning a second place JV award for the team. Congratulations to Kaylee Wilson, Finley Jesuit, Ella Volante, Josie Shank, Brandy McGill, Zoe Zweinhoffel, and Eva Jansen for earning medals on this day. The girls frosh soft team finished in 15th place and the girls varsity came in 7th place overall. Congrats to all the participants. Hispanic Heritage Month. Fun fact of the week, did you know that Hispanics are responsible for inventing a lot of the common items used around the world? To mention a few, the color TV, ballpoint pen, and CAPTCHA are everyday items that we use on a regular basis that were invented by Hispanics. Almond students, did you know that there are over 1 million senior citizens in assisted living or nursing homes in America? Some of these seniors get no visitors at all. Special thanks to all the students this school year who have helped fill out greeting cards that will be sent to our local facilities as well as facilities all over the country. We have completed over a thousand cards already. Can we beat the 4,121 cards we completed last year? Almond students only. If you're interested in helping, please email or see Ms. Storvik in room 152. Now we are joined by Grace Rios who has an important announcement about the Warren Mentoring Program. Hi everyone, if you're interested in becoming a high school mentor and working with kids, this program might be a good fit for you. On late start mornings, mentors go into Woodland Elementary School and work one-on-one -on -one with elementary students to build social skills and behavioral skills. Together we play board games, color, make crafts, and so much more. Please scan this QR code to learn more and sign up for the program. Forms must be submitted no later than October 3rd. If you have any questions regarding the program, please feel free to reach out to myself at rios9745 at wths.net or Colleen Save at csave at dis50.net. All boys interested in swimming and diving should complete the online form to receive more information about the start of the season. Varsity tryouts begin on Monday, November 25th, and JV starts on Monday, December 4th. Visit the Swimming and Diving webpage for more information. Students, remember to order your yearbook early this year. The price goes up throughout the year, so now is the time to make your purchase. Go to www.yearbookordercenter.com to do this. You can enter job number 8537 to get to Warren. Senior ads can also be bought from this website. Remember, you can make an ad for your friend group or your sport or activity, as well as individual ads. Senior ads close on November 1st and will not be reported, so do it now. You can also vote for senior superlatives by scanning the QR code. Check out our IG page or YouTube channel for the QR code. 
college visits today. Head over to the College and Career Center to meet with Princeton University during period one. Michigan Technical University, period three, Grand Canyon University, period four, and Northern Illinois University, period six today, September 26th. Oh, Plain Student News. Lunch Lounge is an alternative, smaller environment to eat lunch with new, meet new people and play some games. It's available every Thursday, which is today, in room 100A during lunch and lunch study hall. All are welcome. That's all for today. You may have started to see some flyers around the school as we are launching our Behind the Stalls newsletter. We plan on doing this twice a month. Check out great stuff our staff has put together keeping our student body informed and activities and schools happenings. We will see you next Monday for our regular announcements. Have a great time with the homecoming game and dance. Remember, we are respectful, resilient, engaged, now and always. Go, Go Blue Devils! Devils!